Hello LEGO fans, Bricks Unbound here with another update to my building Hogwarts series. Didn't get quite as much progress done this time around, I've been injured for about the past week and a half, which ate up most of my building time, just had a few hours this morning to work on this. So I've been continuing to build the bell towers over here, and as you can see I did not get much further. Only one side of them is partially complete, and of course I ran out of pieces. And I'm not 100% happy with how it looks at the moment. I think from a distance maybe it looks okay, but the gaps and things still are sticking out like a sore thumb, unfortunately. So here's, again, the image I'm basing this off of. So trying to work in all of these openings and archways and things in that tower, it's pretty difficult. It's hard to make small arches in... Lego that are smaller than like one stud wide is hard, but any smaller than that is very difficult. So you can see here I did a jumper to offset it, and then I have some of the curved, the very small curved, uh, I don't even know what you're going to call them, but those little tiny archway pieces that came in the, the large Hogwarts set, uh, the 4,000 whatever piece one, or $400 set. You know which one I'm talking about. I got some of those off BrickLink. They're still fairly expensive pieces. You can see some more of the other version up there as well as where I'm missing parts. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure happy. Not 100% happy with how this is coming out right now. Um, if you have any suggestions for ways to make narrow arches, because this is just a little too wide, so I tried to cut it in half, and then it just kind of looks funny. I don't know, but leave any suggestions you have in the comments. This is really about all I've got for this video. Um, I am feeling better now, though, so hopefully I can get a little bit more done in the next one. Although I will need to place several more orders to replace just random parts that I'm starting to run out of. But it's, it's coming together all right. The one, of course, easiest, well, maybe not easiest, but the simplest solution would be to just make these wider, right? Make, just make the towers bigger. And then you'll be able to solve that problem, you can put archways that are even this size in there and it'll still look fine. Which, I'm not going to say is 100% not going to happen, but it's not super attractive, because if I make the towers wider, the entire build is going to be bigger, which means it's going to be harder to fit in the space. And as you can see right now, just with the, the Great Hall build, and this build, it's already taking up two tables worth of space. I do still have these two tables that I can clear off. Right now they just have uh, my city sitting on them in quite the mess there. Looks like the train station seen better days. But um, yeah, so I don't really want to make them wider. That might be the only solution to make it look perfect. And of course I would really like to make it look as accurate as possible, but space-wise I don't think I want to make it wider. So I might have to leave it with this type of solution here or something like that um, but like I said if you have ways to make small little arches and things that I'm not thinking of these are pretty basic building here just bricks on top of bricks haven't done a whole lot with studs not on top or looking for other pieces that have those shapes so again any suggestions would be appreciated hope you've enjoyed this update and the next one should be a little bit more substantial thank you for watching